What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys. This is a... Well, I'm gonna call it a Vlogzilla, but it's also an NYCC preview and a, a little bit of a pickups video. Let's start there, because this week I got a couple of things. Um, one thing that I showed on my Facebook page a couple of days ago, uh, and that was... The Star Wars Black Series, Walgreens exclusive, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Force Spirit. Espirit de la Force. Is it right there? Um, looks pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to open this yet. Big shout out to friend of the, uh, friend of Ultra Zilla Toys, uh, Frankie Mancuso, for uh, alerting me where this was. Um, a, you know, so very cool. Um, and thank you so much. I haven't had a chance to open it, obviously. Uh, but that, that could be said about a lot of things. You know, so this week I really wanted to open up my Storm Collectible stuff. Um, I haven't opened up one of those figures. I have the two Mortal, regular release Mortal Kombat figures. And, uh,. I have Ryu and um, Bison and Bison, none of which I've had a chance to open. Man, I have a lot of I have piles of stuff here to open. But anywho, you know, like I that's one of the things I wanted to do ahead of NYCC, and I just couldn't. So apologies, guys, if you heard me say that before. I couldn't get to it. Yeah, and see, I'm in the comic book industry. As my, I'm gonna call it my day job, even though it's like I'm a freelancer, so it's all day job. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I'm constantly juggling this and that. But um, so you know, when you're Comic Con, uh, I'm always like crammed in with like work, trying to get done ahead of Comic Con. So then like any editors that I work with that are gonna be at Comic Con will be free. So everybody wants to get their stuff done early. So this has always been the case. I used to be on staff at DC Comics for eight and a half years, so I've gotten used to it. It's only gotten crazier with Freelance, but this year it's been pretty good. I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm finished up. Last year I had some stuff that lingered in, you know, at the as Comic Con started, so I had to like fit in some work as well. But anywho, it kind of cut into what I wanted to do this week here, and I apologize. I'm really, really glad I got that Voltron. Uh, Dark Force Voltron review done. And I really wanted to get that R2-D2 one done. I thought it was like a really good chaser to the Voltron because it was a lot simpler uh, to do. You know, I have a lot of simple fingers that I could do, but something about... Here he is. About this little guy, you know, just really... Um, let's light it. It's good, but it's like, ugh. It's killing me. <laughs> um... Yeah, this guy is awesome. So, really, really cool. There he is again. Check him out. You know, so glad I got at least those two reviews on. I had one more review that I was going to try to get done. But I still have to get done, like, one major thing, um, comic-wise, before the show. And I only got, you know, I don't have too much time to tonight. Um, so I only had a little bit of time right now. I just had dinner. Uh, and I came down and wanted to film this video, you know, like, I, I, you know, this to me was more important than a review right now, just kind of to set up New York Comic Con, but just to give you a little preview of what was on my review desk, and what I might still do um, tonight is the Diamond Select uh, Wave 1 here, the Walgreens figures. So, I uh, also had an interesting com uh, Twitter uh, exchange with Diamond Select Toys, and that's going to be part of the review. So I'm hoping I'm going to do one review for you know the you know all all of the figures together. Um, I think that's a good way to go because there's a lot of interchanging of you know things that I want to talk about. So it's better to get them all done. So got a little dust flying here. So yeah, uh, I, I, that's the you know review I want to get done. I don't know if I can. If not, that's going to be the first review you see 
once New York Comic Con is done uh, on Monday. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get this done tonight and it'll be uploaded sometime overnight. And then we get into the craziness of New York Comic Con. But before we start talking about New York Comic Con more, you know, fully, I did get one other thing today. I stopped at GameStop. And now the GameStop, I, I wasn't, it wasn't like a planned stop at GameStop. But it was right by, I had to go to the post office, and um, so I stopped, it was, it was kind of on the way, kind of, sort of. <laughs> um, you know, and then I was like, oh, there's something I want to get possibly at GameStop if it's in store. I kind of had forgotten about it. Um, and they had it. I, I almost left uh, before I saw it, and then like it caught like the corner of my eye was on the bottom shelf. And I got these guys. So yeah, more of Star Wars Black Series. The uh, the guard, uh, the guard. I don't know what it's called. The guard set. I think there was a name for this, but it's not up here. So Guardians of Evil set. Now this was sitting on the shelf like this, um, like on the bottom shelf, the two of these. So I I did. That's how I kind of glossed over it. Or it might have even been like this. I can't recall. Um, so I was like about to leave, and then I was like, "Oh my God, there it is!" So yeah, I had forgotten about this. I didn't pre-order it, and then I just kind of, you know, I was gonna pre-order it, but there was a lot going on uh, around Force Friday, like spending wise. So I was like, "Ah, I'm gonna hold off for now." And then yeah, very cool, very 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 cool to to see it and get it. Um, and it's got the Senate Guard. And a Royal Guard, I have a Royal Guard here that I haven't reviewed yet. So, but I think I need to give that one its due because it is a single pack figure. And then when I do the review here, I might just, you know, kind of refer back to that review. Or I might do them twice or three times because the uh, Emperor's Shadow Guard here appears to be just a Royal Guard in black. And then the real reason I really, really wanted this was the Elite Praetorian Guard with the double blade. So these are the guys. I mean, I hope they're really, really cool in the new movie because I love the looks of them. I have the Amazon exclusive one on pre-order and uh, the Figuarts, three of them on pre-order. I really, really love the looks of those guys. So... That's why I wanted this. Uh, I haven't been able to find the other one that's, you know, the single card, not carded, but boxed one. I know it's kind of out now, but I haven't seen it personally. Uh, Dorkside Toys had it up, and I, I put it in my cart with a couple other things, and then I was doing a bunch of stuff, and I forgot to check out. And then when I went to check out, it was sold out. And I was like, oh, man. So hopefully they get it back or somebody else gets it because uh, I really want to get that. So, anywho, very awesome uh, that review on that at some point. <laughs> um, but that's it with that. Let's talk about NYCC further. Here's my pro four-day pass. Um... It's always Walking Dead now. I like all oh, these badges. Always Walking Dead. Um, so yeah, uh, here's here's the tentative plans. You know, uh, what you're gonna see here uh, is hopefully a lot of pics on my Facebook page. So if you haven't uh, liked my Facebook page yet, head on over. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of pics. So it usually is, you know. So pics there and videos here like little short videos of little sections um that's what i did last year and then that's what i've done at like uh toy fair and stuff and whatever else other cons i've been to that i've covered here so definitely you know planning to do a lot of that stuff you know i say planning because you never know how these things go i, I mean like i might ha end up having to do something at the con uh, you know, I have a meeting here, a meeting there. Sometimes these things kind of formulate as they go. So, but that's the plan, you know. And if not, like, you know, I will have recaps of each day or whatnot. But stay tuned. There's definitely going to be some sort of coverage from NYCC. Um, you know, and then, you know, the first thing tomorrow that I want to do is 
get exclusives, right? Like, you know, like, before I started taking pics, or as I take pics and whatever, um, you know, there's some exclusives that I'd like, you know, you know, mostly, mostly Storm Collectible stuff right now is the stuff that's really popping out at me. Um, you know, I finally have a chance to get a Noob Sabot, um, and this one's gonna be a bloody version, and I kinda dig that. Like, I didn't get the one from SDCC, I know I could've from, like, some retailers have it for a bit of a markup, uh, and I still do, I could still get it if I want, but I don't, I think if I could get it, you know, tomorrow at NYCC, it's the bloody version, I think I'll just be fine with that, because it'll have a little more color on it, so... That's from Mortal Kombat, if I didn't say that. Uh, and then there's another hot Ryu with blue pants. So I'm playing, I want to get that. There's another Ryu, I don't think I'm going to get that. Um, then there's like, and those will be at the Bluefin booth. Then at the TRU booth, which is very interesting. TRU is actually um, going to have their own booth this year. I don't know if it's their own booth. I think they're part of something else. Um, but they're debuting like what their new geek section is going to look like. So if you haven't heard, like, TRU, like, file for, uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy, um, which isn't as bad as everybody, you know, like, thinks. Everybody thinks they're gonna close down. They're not closing down right now. It's not what they're doing. They're kind of just kind of restructuring some of the back end and, you know, definitely gonna be paying more attention to what they're doing. Definitely paying more attention to what they're doing because they, their geek section or their collector's section, whatever it's called right now, is gonna e expand further further so collectors this is this is good um hopefully everything works out okay because you know like the ripple effect on the rest of the industry is what's the real big deal about this um a tru owed a lot of companies money a lot of money so hopefully everything works out in the end we shall see tru for me is huge because you know, it's not easy to get to a Walmart. Uh, Target, a little easier. Um, and it's going to be even easier but because there's going to be like a Target Express by here. But I went to a Target Express uh, recently and it was not good <laughs> as far as toys. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know, right? Um, but anywho, Storm Collectibles. Yeah, like TRU is going to have a couple of exclusives like, you know, re-decos of some of the existing ones, but the one that I'm like kind of interested in is the green suit, suited M. Bison, so might might pull the trigger on that. There's also an early release of Zangief, Zangief uh, and I'm at, that's at the Bluefin booth as well, and I might pick that up. Um, well, we shall see, because it, I have it on pre-order at BBTS, and they said it's coming in, so it's not really an early release, it's coming in within the next 10 days. Early release by a few days is like nothing, um, you know, so we shall see. I might put my funds into other things uh, since I already have a pre-order somewhere. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. If it looks amazing, I might just grab it there. Um, so that's that's the things I'm looking for. A lot of Storm Collectible stuff. Then Bandai America has got that Tommy 3-pack and, and with the metallic colored... Uh, Green Ranger, White Ranger, and whatever Zeo color Ranger he was. I can't... Red Ranger? Was it Red Ranger? I, I can't remember. <laughs> um, apologies, Power Rangers fans. Uh, but it comes in that really cool Dino Thunder box. You know, of his, you know like his, uh, his helmet. And uh, it looks really nice. So that's something I'm looking to getting. I don't know about the green and black uh, vinyl, Megazord vinyl, maybe. I'd like to get the the Dragon Zord that's going to be there, the Funko Pop Dragon Zord. But man, those Funko Pop lines are ridiculous. I don't know if I have the time for that. So, I'd like it, but I don't know. Uh, those are the things that really pop out into my head ahead of time. Uh, I, I kind of scrolled through the stuff I've been posting. One of the things I would have liked, but I just don't want to carry it, and I think you had to get into a lottery to get it, is the metallic colored, really nicely decoed uh, Imagine Next Batman mech. That thing looked incredible, but I heard you needed to be in a, in a lottery on that one, and I, I didn't, so. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what else is going on on the show floor. There's usually a lot of stuff that I just didn't realize, and I'm like, oh, cool, look at that, you know? So, we shall 
see. Plus, I got a couple of things that came in at Muteki Sales. We're going to stop by their booth at some point. Uh, I probably won't be picking up my stuff from them until Sunday. But, you know, he's got my uh, Ultraman Orb Origin figure and my SOC uh, Mazenkaiser, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, so those will be a couple things that I'll be picking up. Uh, I think I'm going to have another pickup from him in a couple weeks as well. Um, we shall see uh, if the uh, the uh, Chigokin poster Mechagodzilla is out or not at that point. But uh, here, you know, because he's a retailer here. So I like to support my friends, you know. So there you go. That's that's what I'm going to be looking for forward forward to getting and then we'll see what else there is you know if you saw my videos last year there was a lot of things i didn't realize i was gonna get and then i got them so it's very cool if you see me at nycc you know you see this mug there come say hello <laughs> feel free you know i'll give you a newly printed little ultra Zilla toys kind of not really a postcard it's kind of like a photo <laughs> so there you go something i'll be you know, hanging out, handing out to some folks. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. No, actually, that's not it. Uh, if you're into comics as well, and you're into lettering, uh, which is what I do in comics, I will be at Jim Hanley's Universe on Friday night as part of, like, the expanded NYCC coverage. Um, not coverage for me, like, you know, to cover them covering all of... <laughs> Uh, NYC. Uh, I will be like this expanded panels. I will be doing a lettering panel, so with fellow uh, my fellow letterers. Uh, <coughs> ah, excuse me. I'm gonna have to take a drink there. Fellow letterers: Nate Picos, Taylor Esposito, Darren Bennett, and Christy Sawyer. So, come on down. And uh, that's Jim Hanley's Universe uh, on 32nd Street, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. But Jim Hanley's Universe in NYC. Friday night, 6 p.m., we will be doing a panel and a signing there. So uh, I currently letter Detective Comics, Hellblazer, Aftershocks, uh, Rough Riders, and um, a a few things that are not out yet. Uh, at NYCC, I have an ash can that's coming out from Dark Horse Comics Burger Books, which is a new imprint led by Karen Berger, who used to be the head of Vertigo Comics. So I have an ash. Uh, there's an ash can there with a couple of books that I'm doing for them previewed. So pretty cool stuff. So if you have any of that stuff, come on down and uh, listen to us talk about lettering for a while. Get some stuff signed. Should be a fun time. Um, but that's like the only like thing comic wise like a panel or something that I have going on officially I got a lot of little things people to talk to and stuff like that so it'll be an interesting weekend for me uh, usually is <laughs> so uh, that's that's it guys that's all I have now that's you know that's that was a ton that's this is a long video already all right guys so you know I hope you dig my NYCC toy coverage here and it, again if you see me say what's up and uh, if you could come to the lettering panel that's awesome as well. And if not, no worries. See you, you know, I'll see you here in a little while. You know, in the next review, unboxing, whatever. Well, cutting in here for a couple of quick, quick things. Um, cutting into my own video. <laughs> uh, I, when I was at GameStop, I pre-ordered that uh, Deadpool Back in Black figure. Looks pretty cool to me, so. That I like more than the uh, X-Force one that was the, the Hascon exclusive. So I did that. And uh, one last thing that's NYCC of interest for me is the 1000 Toys Synthetic Human Clear version. That's an exclusive that's interesting to me because I really like that figure. All right, guys. Now that's all I got. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.